Number one, are you vaccinated against COVID? Number two, what do you think of Fauci? And what could we have done differently? I mean, you're a man of science. So I'm just curious what you think about the whole thing. Great question. So I am vaccinated against COVID. Had I had the facts that I do now as a young, thankfully healthy male, I would not have actually chosen to get vaccinated. I think that Anthony Fauci betrays science by substituting the scientific method, which depends on free speech and open debate and inquiry with authority, which is actually fundamentally anti-scientific at its core. And I think one of our main lessons to have learned from the pandemic, and I hope we do learn it in the future, is that it is precisely in times of emergency that free speech becomes most important. I think if we had been able to debate in the open the merits of lockdowns for children, we would not have locked down our schools. I think if we had been able to debate in the open what the origin of the pandemic was, a lab in Wuhan appears to be the overwhelming, it's, it's the truth. I mean, we, we, we know that that's exactly the most likely to be correct explanation. <laughs> it's in the name. <laughs> it, it literally is. But, but, but it was a name you couldn't have said. At, at the, at the, right. and you couldn't call it, you couldn't name the unspeakable city for which the virus originated. So I think one of the top lessons is free speech and open debate. The path to truth runs through that. Science depends on the free exchange of ideas. That's who we are. And the beauty is our country is founded on that very principle. It's in the First Amendment for a reason. And, the 